Okay, hold on. There we go. Ten second rule. It's okay, man. It's okay. Well, guys, today I am gonna be a chef because we're checking out Cooking Simulator. This is a brand new simulator that's gonna be coming out. Well, it's not even out yet. It's gonna be coming out on the 6th of December, and it looks remarkably impressive. It's also beautiful, as you can see. This is the first kitchen, and it's said to be a rundown one, so I'm kind of really excited to see where this game goes if this is a rundown kitchen. Anyways, we're actually playing the game right now. We have a grilled tuna steak that we need to do. I thought we'd look at our kitchen first because it doesn't really give me a chance to actually look, at, look around it and see what I have at my disposal. So we're not going to be doing that just yet, but we will be doing that very, very soon. Let's first of all appreciate this kitchen. So we have all of our cutlery over here, our bowls and whatnot. We have our spice rack over over here and this is uh looks like our liquids up top water and sunflower oil and then of course we have our herbs now going to the refrigerator we have our meats in here and i think we have lemons yes as you can see lemons and oh can't close that without closing the doors and then moving on we have all our hot surfaces here we have a gas grill as well as a griddle and a stove so that's pretty cool and it looks like yeah we have storage everywhere so I have to do everything on my own. I thought with this game, you know, I'd be running a team or something, but no, everything is about me. Now, the ex-chef put post-it notes on everything, so he kind of tells us what's going on. Looks like we have to do our own dishes as well. What the hell is this? Oh my god. Oh my god, there's actually- stop! Stop it! Because we actually do have to restock everything, so I am just wasting so soap at, the, at this current point. Uh, looks like we even have to maybe clean? Wow, this is crazy. Uh, we'll figure that out later, probably for spills and whatnot. I think I broke it. Is it still connected to me? No. I will never again put a fire extinguisher into the oven chamber. Now you know how we lost our prestige in our oven. It's up to you to fix both. The oven is easy to manage. I suggest you make use of those metal plates. Remember to always heat the oven before baking anything inside. Okay, you know I have to do it now. Where is the fire extinguisher? There it is! Okay, for science, guys, we gotta try it. I mean, if you tell me not to do something, that's exactly when I'm going to do it, so, uh... Okay, stand back. I don't know if this thing's gonna explode. You know what? I don't- Oh my god! <laughs> my god damn it. Oh man, I stood there for like two minutes thinking, okay, it's not gonna do anything. <laughs> and the moment I go over, I get a stove door to the damn face. Okay, we probably gotta use that mop now. Okay, um... Yeah, we're definitely not cooking anything at this current moment. <laughs> Here's our deep fryer. Okay, so we know that's here. Grill party every afternoon. Those were the days. So there's another grill. There's a lot of different types of grills. I, by, by, by the way, I should also mention, I do not cook at all. So uh, this is going to be an interesting experience. That is for damn sure. Anything in these? Oh, that was... That was damn cool. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, and we also have a blender. This is my favorite. Okay, all you need to do is throw stuff in and turn it on. You can actually tell what was inside. Just give it a taste. But turn those blades off first. We don't want you losing another hand. Wait, I've lost a hand? And then, of course, every place needs a microwave. So that's good. It's telling me to hurry up. Yeah, that, 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 that order's definitely not going to go through. Oh, God, we got propane tanks as well? What happens when we throw this? Let's find out. All right, we're going to throw it there. Well, it doesn't explode, at least. Now, it also has a radio in this game, which uses online radio stations, obviously, with copyright. I cannot turn that on, so, uh... I, you'll just have to trust me. You can program any station you want in this thing, though. It's pretty cool. And we also have, it looks like this is where we go. Oh, this is actually the recipes that we own. And then we can actually buy more recipes, as you can see, with whatever these points are over here. Points used to unlock new recipes. Okay, they're, they're actually just called points. Now, also, we have a restaurant rank in here, so I guess we do have to worry about, you know, keeping the people happy. I'm definitely not keeping the people happy right now. And look at the... Wow, we can... Jesus Christ, this game's... The, this is the beta for the game, by the way. This is not even fully released yet, but looks like we can totally upgrade our kitchen. So I don't know if we go to a new kitchen, but at least it's really cool that we can upgrade this one. And then we also have our finances here. And it said I could play games, or at least... I don't know if that was a joke or not, but it did say... Playing games at work is fun. You're gonna need those numbers. What numbers? What's this? Um, okay, that's probably a cookbook, I'm assuming. Pick up. Can I actually operate? So that's how to move it, but I don't know how to actually read it. What numbers? It's a typical kitchen. Th things break down constantly. I've added the least expensive serviceman to the telephone's memory. Don't thank me. P.S. Think twice before hiring the cheapest ones. Why'd you put the cheapest ones in there, then? Okay, so how do I use this? 
Um, shift to operate. But operating just means I can, like, manually control it. All right, well, hopefully nothing breaks down. Oh, okay, so I think... I think, we, yeah, we can just call them and say, Hey, buddy, we need to repair this stuff. Okay, and there's actually corporations that do come. You can see when I pop, when I hover over it. Nice corp. We, <laughs> this is amazing. There's so many different handyman I can call. Okay, so I understand it now. I don't have to actually dial, but will it blend? That's the question. Come on, blend it up. It's not even letting me blend, so... Unfortunately, I can't blend cell phones in this game, or I guess landline phones. The realism is just not there, you know? I'm gonna give this game a 2 out of 10 for that, but it looks like we have potatoes here, so let's, uh... Let's just throw some potatoes in there. By the way, we do have to buy these. We don't technically own them until we use them. Whoa, I just dropped one on the ground. Totally fine. You know what? Let's add some herbs as well. There we go. Throw all the herbs in there. All the good stuff. I'm just having fun at this point, guys, but uh, I think I understand now how to successfully do this. I like that if I move, it just, it still falls at the same direction that I've grabbed it at, so I do have to keep this still. Oh, that, that one, <laughs> that one slid right off. Okay, this looks absolutely gross. Let's throw it on here and see if this actually will work. Canceled order. Your guest hasn't received a dish. I know, I'm sorry. Okay, so we're gonna turn that on. Oh, God! And it actually does work. Ah, time twig and just called blend because there's so much crap in there. All right, the only other thing is this is the finish line. This is where we put the orders when we're done. So I think I'm pretty much good to try and do my first recipe. All right, so here we've opened the doors. The first guests should arrive shortly. So I got to be honest, I'm going to be happy if I can get one decent serving out. So we have baked trout right now, and then this pops up, and we actually have to do everything. It doesn't, like, help you at all. So we need to trout. To, to, sorry, take the trout, season it with black pepper, thyme, or thyme, dill, and that is it. Okay, so we should have trout inside here. Let's actually grab a plate already. Let's plate it. Uh, we'll do the large plate. Not really sure what size we're going to need, but uh, probably bigger is always better. All right, we're just going to throw it on the cutting board right now. So we needed black pepper. Actually, you know what? We can carry multiple things if we carry something with it. So let's put this down here. Let's put the trout down here. We still need three more, and if I carry this, I think I can grab more. Uh, so, I grabbed the black pepper, I think, right? Now we need thyme and dill, and then we need to place on a baking tray. So, thyme and dill. Thyme and dill. There we go. We can bring these over. See, this is how you save time, and we're definitely gonna have to save time because everything's a rush in this game. And how much are we supposed to do? Oh, God. I really wish... You know what? I probably should have just built it. Oh, I can... I'm such an idiot. I can put it on over here. So, five Gs of each. So, each sprinkle is, uh, one G, I think. So, we'll see here. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Done that. I hope I have a little bit of extra time, because I'm very slow. I have to learn, basically, how to cook while I'm doing this. But, you know what? It's good to learn. So, let's do this here. And this is probably going to be delicious. I like the idea of dill on trout. All right. So, there we go. Five Gs of each. What's... No okay, I almost ran over there. What's up? What's up for next? Place on baking tray. Okay, we had baking trays here. And give me the delicious trout and throw it. Ooh, oh, God damn it. Come on. Come on. Work with me here. Wait, is this not even the right oven? Let me, let me try and put it maybe down here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so, and I'm assuming that turns on that. That should hopefully be good. Can we actually look at it? Hello? How, how long does it say? Bake for 120 seconds. Okay, so do we have a clock here? We do have a clock. Is that a minute hand? What? The, where the hell's the second hand? Oh, God damn it. Okay, it's probably been forever now. Can we actually check it? Oh, okay. So we can actually look and see how close it is to being done. So trout is in. Uh, season with horseradish dried. Plate up with lemon quarters. Serve hot. Season with horseradish dried. Okay, where the hell's the horseradish? Salt, sugar, it's dried. Oh, there it is right there. Okay, season with horseradish, so we'll do that later. We're doing all the seasonings here. Let's bring that over by the plate so we don't get it all confused. I think that's all we really need to do, though. It's just trout and lemon, right? So we need to... All right, so we need to cut lemon into quarters. We have an 80-gram lemon. These should be 80 grams. And we need 20-gram slices. So, time to cut it up. Actually, let me just check. I do not want to burn this. And... Oh, yeah, we got time. We got time. Okay, keep going. Okay, you actually do need to aim your cut, so there we go. Oh, oh, okay, and how do I rotate? Okay, there we go, like that. I want these slices to be nice. I mean, I'm assuming this is going to go into what the customer thinks of this, and if we do nice slices, they're going to be happy customers. So there we go. Oh, okay, drop that, drop that. 
And just want to make sure, did I miss anything? Garnish with parsley leaves fresh. How many? Six grams. So we got to see how big one is. Let's actually try and keep this organized as well. Parsley leaves, parsley. I don't know what anything looks like, so I got to figure this out real quick. Parsley leaves. Two, how much did it say? Two Gs? Six Gs. So we need th three of those. You know what? We'll do that at the end. This should be almost done. Yes, it is. Oh, God. How do I pull it out? Oh, I need oven mitts. I guess I don't. Okay. Clearly, I'm uh, a boss. Okay, but I cannot put it over, so I am going to need some oven mitts or something. I know there's a spatula here that I can use. Let's see if we can grab that with this. Uh, I just want to grab it, please. There we go. And damn it. Okay, at least it didn't drop on the floor. How the hell do I do this? Put it. D Nailed it. Oh, oh god damn it. That's going to bother me. Let's try and get this done right. <laughs> oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. There we go. That's a huge plate. All right. I'm still learning how to plate. Give me a little bit of time here. It's going to take a little while. Let's turn this off so we don't have a fire. Okay, take the plate and garnish with the lemons. Oh, 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 don't, don't do it that way. There we go. You have to actually click the lemon. It's not really garnished. They're kind of beside it, but whatever. And har horseradish, what do we need? Five Gs of horseradish. So there you go. Enjoy dried horseradish. That is weird to me. I've never seen that before. And then finally, garnish with parsley leaves. 6G, so we're going to need three of those. And that was right here. One, two, three. There you go. I think that's pretty damn good. I got to say, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, ding, ding. I don't know what that other button was. Hopefully, that's what we needed. We still had a minute 16 left. And hell yeah, man. I'm a freaking chef. Okay, look at that. Client is happy. We got a $3 tip. That's what I'm talking about. And uh, the plate was also returned. Wait, was it like they were? No. Okay, so I, I guess they returned the plate to the kitchen. So they're happy with that. Does the plate go over here? We don't have any orders right now. So I just want to see if I have to do that too. It doesn't look like I have to clean the plates. All right. Well, I didn't think the first one would go so well. So I am relieved. It looks like next time we got a grilled tuna steak. Nobody wants ordinary steak. I want to make a bitchin' ass steak. That's all right. All right. Tuna, salt, black pepper, and then grilled tuna. Got it. All right, so we definitely don't need these big plates. Let's just grab an ordinary plate and... Damn it. <laughs> I can't believe you can break the plates. Now I know. We got to be extra careful. We're going to keep with this thing. It seems to be working well. Uh, so we need to season the tuna with 5G and 5G of black and salt. Uh, all right, so where's the tuna in here? Is this tuna? That is tuna. All right, we may as well just put it on the cutting board because we're going to have to obviously cook it. Let's not drop it on the ground. That would be really bad. Okay, so... Dill. I don't even think I used salt in my last recipe, so we're going to have to go get the salt. That's all right. We're doing fine. We should have lots of time, I think. Maybe we should put these things back to organize a bit. But honestly, we're probably going to use lots of seasoning. So may as well just keep them out, I think, at this point. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. It's all seasoned, ready to rock and roll. And then now we just need to grill it, right? Grill for 60 seconds. So this time we're going to actually use the grill. Turn that sucker on and get that thing on there. And 60 seconds isn't going to be too long. So let's see what else we can do. Cut lemon into slices. 20 Gs. So now we need, as you can see, slices. Um, 20 Gs worth of lemon. So I don't think we're going to need much lemon at all. How much is this? 80 Gs. So we need about a quarter of this. And I guess we'll just keep the rest there for later. So I'm going to cut it right down the middle. Oh, that's actually a bad idea because now I need to... Oh, I need to do this right. So rotate... Um, can I actually angle it? All right, these are not going to be perfect lemon slices. I'll tell you that much. Oh, God. We'll just try and get it to about... Oh, these are so ugly. What, what, whatever. It only needs about 20G. I might get reviewed for having weird lemons, but I don't know how you're supposed to chop a lemon when it falls due to gravity. I, I, I can't hold the lemon like an ordinary person with their hand. Okay, let's actually... Let's not screw this up. All right, tuna's still cooking, so we're okay. That's good. And what did we need? We needed to garnish it with something. A oregano twig, 8 Gs. So I guess we could technically put those on the plate right now. Uh, basil, mint, oregano, 8 Gs. So we need two of these. And I hope it doesn't matter where I put them on the plate. But I'm just trying to get ahead. I'm trying to save time. You never know when an another order is going to pop up. All right, we're going to have the perfect tuna. It just finished. And look at that. It is beautiful. Do you have to do both sides? I don't think you have to do both sides when it comes to fish. Again, I'm not a cook, though, so I don't know. I really wish there was an easier way to do this. Oh, <laughs> okay, <we're> just... <laughs> oh my 
my god. Oh no, 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 fix. Okay, hold on. There we go. 10 second rule. It's okay, man. It's okay. Jesus Christ. Is there no easy way to. D <laughs> okay, click the plate and flip. Uh, why is this so hard? Oh my god. Okay, let's 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 figure out. Is there is there a different tool I can use maybe? Because this is really not working for me. Because it like bends it the weirdest way. I mean, I guess that works. Oh my god, easy now. Let me actually see. How much time do I got in this order? Doesn't actually show me the time. So I guess, well, we have this over here. Let's see if we can maybe do a little bit better. Oh yeah, there we go. And then let go. Throw. Release. What the hell? Now I still need to do the stupid bendy thing. Oh my god, this is really frustrating. Hurry up, I'm trying. Release that. <laughs> Come on. All right, you know what? This is, I might be a little bit late, but I'm trying my best, man. Okay, well, let's move this up and release. Good enough. It's on the plate. It's good enough for me. We're going to garnish it with some of that. This this, this one might not be good, guys. <laughs> this this customer might be a little angry. Now, we need two slices. The, the middle ones weren't that bad, so we'll throw that on there. <laughs> it's not even on the steak. I hope plating isn't that important here, because that is freaking ugly. Is that all we needed? Let me just make sure. Oregano twig, lemon slices. Yeah, we are good to go. Okay. I'm a little worried about this one. What is this button? Uh, you can take a picture of it? What the hell? Do we have like an Instagram or something? Um, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll take a screenshot. That's beautiful. Let's close that up. That's actually really cool though. So how do I exit? Okay, there we go. Here you go. Sorry, overtime by four seconds because I was taking a picture of it from my Instagram. Damn it. That's not good at all. They want a refund? Okay, that's bad. That's really bad. That was not easy. I. It's just when it comes to the plating, I don't know what the hell to do. So do I issue a refund or do I not? I mean, they might write me a bad review or something. So let's refund them. Admittedly, that was not a pretty order. So there you go. And we upped the fame a little bit. So I think I lost money on that order, but it might be worth it. This was the last order for today. When you're done, prepare for tomorrow. I don't know if I'm prepared for this. Do we, can we at least get a steak? I want to try and do the steak, damn it. Oh, like that was the last order? We only had two customers today? That's pretty damn bad. Yeah, I don't think another order's coming in. So what the hell do you want me to prepare for tomorrow? I guess clean up a little bit? Uh, we did have a crashed plate over there. So let me see if I can actually use this thing. <laughs> what the hell? Every time I touch this thing, it's totally broken. Okay, you know what? I think we're just gonna have to have a messy kitchen. Can I actually, is there like a broom? Cause this thing doesn't like me at all. Now I gotta repair my damn stove cause I broke it. All right, repair man. Can you uh, help me out here? Nice corp, 94%. So it looks like, what does 94% mean? We have the price here. Okay, you know what? Let's pay a decent amount. Cause I don't want this broken. Five seconds, oh, I love that there's service times for everybody. I want something in the middle, so. Seems like $15 is kind of in the middle. It's fast as well, so that's good. And I appreciate a speedy delivery. Okay, we'll put that back on. I think we're pretty good. It, we didn't mess it up that much today. Okay, what, what the hell do I do with this? Just, like, put it in the corner? The hell do you want? You should have just took this with you. I guess we'll just drop it down here. There we go. <laughs> oh, well, at least we can relax for a little bit and play some games. So, uh, let's try this thing out. So, new game. We have two shots. Are throws left? Where are the darts? Yeah, I, I don't see the darts anywhere. I thought they'd be attached to this. That's definitely... Wow, that, that texture is actually really impressive. Anyways, uh, what am I saying, though? I'm in a kitchen. Oh, crap. I wanted to play darts. All right. Well, we had one good order and one very bad order where we actually lost some money. So that really, really sucks. But hey, I warned you guys I'm not the best chef, but I'm willing to learn. So I think we're going to wrap up this one here, guys. This was once again Cooking Simulator. It's about a month away from release, but obviously it looks extremely impressive. I'm really excited to play some more of it if you guys are liking this, of course. So let me know by hitting that like button. Feel free to suggest some things down below. There is like a sandbox mode for this game as well as a few challenge modes, I think. Don't quote me on that, though. I'm not totally sure. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.